Hi, I just wanted to record a quick video to kind of show a bit of the state of HTTP2 in Python and some of the work that I've been doing to improve HTTP2 support in Python land. And in particular I wanted to focus on a library I've been working on for a while called uh, HyperH2. So when you think of HTTP libraries you probably think of things like requests or AIO HTTP uh, and those are certainly one kind of uh, HTTP library. Uh, HyperH2 is not like that. HyperH2 uh, is instead intended to be a building block, a utility library for libraries like that. So when you've got things like requests, things like AIO HTTP, and they want to add support for HTTP2, uh, HyperH2 is the tool they would use to do that. So you wouldn't go and pip install H2 and then do h2.get and expect HTTP2 to work. It, it does require some integration. But its purpose is to be general so that we can have, uh, as a community, can have one really good HTTP2 parsing library rather than uh, the five or ten HTTP 1.1 libraries we have now, which duplicate a lot of each other's work. Uh, I'm going to talk about this idea in more detail uh, probably at PyCon SK uh, later this year, but uh, in the meantime I just want to kind of demonstrate uh, the fruits of this work. So because HyperH2 is a building block library, it suffers from the problem that it can be a little bit hard to see uh, see it working or see its effects or see its progress. So uh, I wanted to demonstrate uh, kind of where we are with this work and how the kind of community is functioning uh, by seeing it work with a couple of major projects. So uh, in particular, I want to demonstrate a kind of pair of tools, uh, specifically the man in the middle proxy, the Python MITM proxy. Uh, this is a network analysis tool. Uh, and I also want to demonstrate it with Twisted. So we'll be running in two kind of separate formats here. Uh, with the man-in-the-middle proxy we'll be running uh, as a back-to-back -back user agent. Uh, so that means one side's behaving a bit like a server and one side a bit like a client. Uh, with Twisted we'll be behaving uh, just like a server. Uh, so hopefully this will be a kind of interesting little demo. Um, and if you're kind of interested in playing along it should be uh, possible for you to do that as well. So first I'm going to uh, switch over to my terminal uh, and I'm going to have uh, a few terminal windows open so you can see I have uh, three sub windows. Uh, here I'm, I'm running in a Python virtual environment, uh, almost all of these, not the one in the bottom right, uh, but the top right and the one on the left are both running in Python virtual environments. Uh, specifically they're running in the same Python virtual environment. Uh, and the goal here is to kind of prove a point about uh, the way uh, HyperH2 works. So I'm going to use a pair of tools that are both doing HTTP2 uh, using the same underlying library with the exact same version. They're not running any kind of specials or helpers. Uh, there is one set of common code that they're both uh, able to use. Uh, so you can see on the uh, uh, prompt that I've got a virtual environment called N because naming is my strong suit and it's got lots of libraries installed in it. Uh, so uh, I'll run a quick pip freeze here and you'll see that it's got lots of things installed. There are just some things that are worth having your attention drawn to them. Uh, Twisted is installed, Twisted 15.5. Uh, this is not actually the Twisted 15.5 you could get from the repository. This has got an extra patch on top of it that enables HTTP2 support. Uh, that patch will be being shipped upstream uh, sometime over the next few weeks. Uh, it'll probably take quite a lot of review because it's a large patch. Uh, it's also got man in the middle proxy 0.15. Uh, this is also not the released man in the middle proxy. Uh, there is a pull request open that adds support for HTTP2 and that's the version I have installed here. Uh, but what I, I do want to draw your attention to is that there is only one uh, HTTP2 stack installed in this virtual environment. Uh, and you'll, uh, you can see it uh, up there. It is called uh, H2 uh, as you saw from the warehouse page earlier. Uh, and H2 uh, is providing the HTTP2 support for both of um, HyperH2, uh, so both of Man in the Middle Proxy and Twisted, and they're using the exact same version present on both of them. Um, so the way this demo is going to work is that I'm going to use Twisted to serve uh, a local copy of my blog because you know that's a thing that I own the rights to, so why not use that? And uh, the kind of focus and goal will be uh, using some other tools to kind of play around and see that all of this stuff is is working and working really well. So uh, let's kind of go over to this side window here and let's spin up Twisted. So I'm just going to run the standard Twisted web server uh, hosting serving files. This is a pretty long and boring command. The 
thing to know for people who don't know Twisted is that this is completely analogous to um, the Python simple HTTP server, uh, except for the fact that it's Twisted and so it can do multiple concurrent connections and it's generally proper. Uh, oh, and it can do uh, TLS, which is it's configured to do, and it can do HTTP2. So I've started up here, uh, and as you can see, it's running on ports 8080 and 8081, uh, which is all kind of super, super thrilling, uh, but otherwise fairly boring. So we'll also start up the man in the middle proxy. Man in the middle proxy considers its HTTP2 support to be pre-release, so I have to uh, fire a flag to actually enable it, uh, and I also have to change the port it runs on, because by default it runs on port 8080, which I'm already using for Twisted. So we'll launch that up, and uh, it should hopefully launch up its little uh, cursors GUI. So the first thing I'm going to do is prove that HTTP 1.1 still works. I haven't broken anything with these tools, and we'll use curl for that. Uh, I want to use the same version of curl the whole way through. Curl supports HTTP 2, but only in a newer version than OS 10 has, so I've had to install a custom version of curl, which is why it's got a really terrible invocation path. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and strip the HTTP 2 flag off of this, uh, and then you'll see uh, this is curl. I'm just telling it a few extra things. Dash K, don't verify certificates. Dash dash proxy, please go through the man in the middle proxy. But this is otherwise standard HTTP 1.1. So you can see it loads the page. Uh, Twisted puts up a little log there. You can see it says it's going over HTTP 1.1, uh, you know, 41,963 uh, bytes of data sent. And you can see that the man in the middle proxy on the left uh, is also uh, showing uh, the web request going through. You can see the headers, uh, request headers, pretty pretty small. Um, response headers coming from Twisted. You can see it says Twisted Web 15.5 uh, is the web server. And uh, some, other, some other detail there. So HTTP 1.1 works. Uh, what we're gonna do this time around is uh, tell curl to use HTTP 2. Now curl uses HTTP 2 from a library called ng-HTTP 2, which kinda fits the same role in the C ecosystem that HyperH2 fits. It's a library that you can kind of plug into other tools. Uh, ng-HTTP 2 in particular backs um, the HTTP 2 implementations of curl, of nginx, and of Apache. Uh, so it's very, very widely used, and that means that when ng-HTTP 2 gets fixes, so do all of those libraries. They all improve together. Uh, which is super convenient. So, so curl here has got uh, one HTTP2 stack and the other two tools are using uh, HyperH2. Uh, so we'll kind of make the same web request using HTTP2 and see uh, does this work? Uh, and then if it does work, kind of how do we see it working and what's changed? So the page still loads, which is good. Uh, you'll notice in the twisted logs, the big difference here is that twisted is logging out the version and saying uh, HTTP2 rather than HTTP 1.1. This is twisted's kind of one big difference, uh, but this is proof that twisted is going, okay, I'm seeing HTTP2 here. And in case you kind of just thought that twisted might be lying, we can look at uh, the man in the middle proxy as well. And the man in the middle proxy can introspect this, and the thing to see there is that it has got the HTTP2 uh, special headers. These are the ones prefaced by uh, colons. Uh, method, path, scheme, and authority, these together replace the request line uh, of the of HTTP 1.1. So you can see this is a get request to path slash at HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 8081. And similarly, there's a special uh, header for the response as well for the status, and you'll notice that all these headers are lowercase, which HTTP2 requires. So uh, this is man in the middle proxy and twisted, both serving HTTP2 using the same backing library. Uh, despite the fact that they do uh, IO very differently, twisted's got its method of concurrency, which is single thread. Uh, Mitt and proxy spins up a ton of threads to handle HTTP2, but they're both using the same library. This works because of the way the library is designed. Uh, and this has saved them both a ton of work. Um, I wrote the twisted patches for HTTP2 to implement HyperH2, but the man in middle proxy people wrote their own patch, uh, and this totally works for them. This functions uh, entirely properly. They've done some testing with Firefox, and that totally works. So uh, there's a lot of kind of exciting opportunities to implement this library uh, all across the Python ecosystem. Any tool that needs to do HTTP, HTTP2 can do it. Uh, but I, I kind of want to also prove that this is not just um, not just good for uh, for the trivial case, right? Like curl is is just one web request. It's it's kind of only moderately uh, exciting or interesting. So uh, I want to demonstrate that Firefox, which does loads of requests, can also load the blog through Twisted, and that Twisted's uh, implementation really does work, and it can do things like priority and flow control. So we'll load the blog here in Firefox. Um, surprise, it loaded. I'll do a force refresh here uh, just to make sure that it actually does get some data. There you are, all the all things loaded. We can go into a web page. 
uh, and you can see here Twisted's web server logs, which say uh, lots of stuff's going on, and it's all coming over HTTP2. Um, so Twisted fully understands HTTP2. Uh, it can do uh, all, all the useful things. It can understand HTTP2 priority and flow control and respect those appropriately. Uh, so this just all totally works. Um, it didn't take no amount of effort. It took quite a lot, uh, but most of the effort was in HyperH2, and that effort is done now. It doesn't need to be duplicated. Um, so this kind of gives you some exciting opportunities if you are interested in having your kind of tool of choice develop HTTP2 support. If that's the thing you want to do, then you should go talk to the maintainers of that tool and you should say to them, uh, look, there's this tool available, HyperH2, and it can do the HTTP2 support for you. And so all you need to do is plumb it into your chosen application. Uh, I'm really excited to see some of you do that. I'll be working on HyperH2 for the foreseeable future and I'm happy to kind of drop in and parachute in and provide some help and support if integrating is a thing you're, you're interested in doing. Uh, I also have some amount of time to do integrations myself, but I'm, I'm pretty heavily focused on Twisted right now. But uh, the goal here is that HyperH2 should support any Python library that wants to do HTTP2 uh, so long as they want to conform to the spec. Uh, Documentation for it is available. It's available at pythonhyper.org slash h2. Uh, you can see here lots of documentation, including some kind of getting started guides and examples. Um, but the thing that'll be most useful probably is the API documentation, which is entirely complete, semantically versioned. Um, so it should be pretty reliable. Uh, and if you're interested in following along with the work itself, uh, it's available uh, on GitHub. This is being developed entirely in the open uh, under the MIT license. So you can go to uh, github.com uh, slash python dash hyper slash uh, hyper dash h2 and you can kind of see all the work there. Uh, so I'm excited uh, and looking forward to uh, working with you all in the future.